Well, let's take a look. I told okay, them. I see they put a towel. Yeah, I told them to put the towel just to check the. We can't get through because that gap's definitely big enough. Mm. Let's check around here. Don't see anything obvious lying around. It's not under this carpet. But I always like to take out the yeah. hiding spot. There. Carefully get it out. I just always work it out. Okay. Well, some adults. Move that chair for me. Kick uh, it this way? way. Kick it this way. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, it's just a hot day. It's a hot day after a couple of cold days. Hey guys, Willem from Blaberg Snake Rescue here. I have here two Cape Cobras. It's a <laughs> definitely a good day for snakes. It's nice and hot, so they're coming out. Uh, the first one is a smaller uh, juvenile that uh, fellow snake capture captured and in uh, table view uh, earlier today and just asked me to release. And this one over here I just captured in someone's office, also in table view, uh, just around the corner from that first one actually. So let me show you the bigger one first and then I'm going to get the small one out. So Cape Cobras are dangerous, um, they have a neurotoxic venom, there you go, that's a Cape Cobra, and if the snake bites you, what happens is you start becoming paralyzed, so you have to get to a hospital if you've been bitten by a snake like this, or if a pet's been bitten, you have to get them to a vet. Um, the nearest hospital with a trauma unit is where you want to go, uh, whether they have antivenom or not doesn't really matter that much, as long as they've got a trauma unit, they can keep you going and if necessary they will uh, fly in anti-venom for you. So you can see he's very aware as well. Cape Cobras are very defensive. Um, they're not aggressive, they won't go out and attack you just because you're there um, and if they've got any kind of gap to escape like you'll see just now they will go the other way and try and get away but if you corner them or if you try and hurt them they are going to try and defend themselves. So let's get him out of the bucket here and then I can show him to you. I'm just going to put him in the bush over here and you'll see now he sees there's a spot to go and hide over there so the moment I let him go he's gonna go the other way he doesn't want anything to do with me snakes don't attack people so I release him and off he goes he's gonna go and find a find a nice spot so let's take a look at the at the baby well not the baby the juvenile <coughs> That Cape Cobra that you saw now had pretty uniform brown coppery colors. This one over here still has the spots that the juveniles, the babies, typically have, uh, which is quite pretty actually. I'm going to see if I can put him down on the ground and take a couple of photos of him. But let's just get him out of here first. Oh, there he is. So I put this newspaper in my bucket so the snakes think there's a spot to go and hide. Then when I put them in the bucket, they don't uh, immediately try and get out. And you'll see this one, he was trying to hide his head in the newspaper now as well. Okay, let me just take a couple of photos quickly. Okay, so you can see this little guy is making a nice hood for us. Um, those spots you see down the body, that's typical of the juvenile Cape Cobras. And you'll see on his neck, he's got a brown band as well. If he lifts his head, you'll be able to see it. There we go. See that brown band on the neck and then the darkish tail like this. Uh, those are all ways of recognizing a Cape Cobra. So let's get him out and then I'm just going to show you, same as an adult, they're not aggressive at all. They don't want to be near people or attack people or do anything to people. He just wants to get away. There we go. Oh. And he's going to be gone. Now until he finds a hole, hide him. Oh, and there he goes. Remember, guys, you never have to deal with a snake yourself. If you find a snake on your property, uh, take a look at snake removal. Call your nearest snake catcher. They will come and sort it out for you. Thanks, guys. Stay safe.